Hi and welcome back to Crafty Meraki's YouTube channel. My name is Emily and in this video I will be playing with the Foliage Re Frenzy, I believe it's called, stencil. <laughs> it's one of those really great stencils that you must have in your stash. Uh, it was released this spring and it's perfect for spring and summer cards. But I will twist it up today and create a really bright color palette with four leaves. So I picked out some of my blending brushes from my stash and a couple of different ink shades here. I picked out a green and a yellow, a pink and an orange, a brown. I never ended up using that, but I have it here in case I wanted to mud some of the leaves up. Uh, and you can see I will quickly go around and just color in all of the leaves in this stencil. And when I'm done with that, I will keep coloring in a couple of the leaves here and you will see the technique here in a second. But you can see um, I am going in with two to three shades of, not shades, two to three colors for all of my leaves. So you get that two toned um, color. And that is what I love about fall. Everything is so bright and fun and you can really play around with your color choices. If I would have had sort of a purple, I think that would be nice for this card as well. Uh, but I didn't end up doing that. But you can see that even though I'm using uh, a pink and a green together, uh, when they're mixed together and sort of create that overlapping brown color, it's beautiful because it's just reminding you of fall. So I started off by masking off um, one of the leaves so I can go in and create a little bit more of a full background here. Um, after a while, I will actually end up just removing all of those post-it notes and free-handedly go in with my colors here. I figured that it wasn't that hard to just mask them up, off one by one, but in the beginning here I did that. So you can see here soon I will sort of get tired of that and pick out a couple of more leaves. But um, And then I was done with that. I just picked out a splatter stamp that I had in my stash. You can use whatever or you can splatter it with black ink. Um, but I like the controlled way. That is why I'm doing that. And then I will uh, start creating my focal point. So here I'm just cutting apart my dies. And this is from the Little Green Tums uh, uh, stamp stamp set, but I will be using the Effortless Artistry paper collection for my project today. So I just picked one of the beautiful already uh, colored in images and cut it out. And you can see I, I'm not cutting, I'm not ripping out the entire paper. I'm just cutting around my image here and then I will line it up with my coordinating dies and run it through my machine. And then I will um, use a sentiment from that same set as well. But you can see here how easy that is just to um, cut that out and then run it through my machine. So much time I just saved by using the paper collection there. I think this is genius. <laughs> so for my sentiment, I cut out a sentiment strip. And then I will mat it with some matte gold cardstock. This is just a scrap piece of paper that I had in my stash. I use some liquid adhesive and then I will remove um, anything that got on outside the lines. And here I'm cutting away those plants and I cut out the watering can instead and I will place that on top of his um, carrier. I probably can say that. <laughs> Um, and then I will have him drag that around instead. I think that is so cute with the sentiment that we got here. I also cut out a circle out of vellum that will be sort of the matting for my focal point. Otherwise, I think the background was quite busy, but I think with um, that little touch of vellum, uh, I don't know if even if you can see it here on screen, but it's there, I will sort of place all of my images uh, inside of that. You could also cut out a circle if you like, but I wanted to keep as much of our fun and bright coloring as we did um, here. And I will raise everything up with some more foam adhesive. And that will 
pretty much finished our card off. I will use some embellishments as well. And uh, oh, by the way, I took this Delicato gold uh, ink and rubbed my sides so I would coordinate with the sentiment. This was the only element of gold that I had on my card and I thought it looked a little bit funny uh, with that matting <laughs> with the gold if I didn't have anything else. Sometimes I do splatters or use embellishment in gold to tie everything together or a large sentiment, you know, in gold that would be fine. But I thought it looked a little bit lonely with the colors there. So I went in with that gold delicato and it worked out nicely. Uh, you probably should leave it to dry or heat set it or even emboss it in some way. Uh, if you want it to be 100% sure that it wasn't going anywhere. But I um, was impatient <laughs> as always. And I just sped this up a little bit and after I had attached everything to my card base, you can see the gray panel there, um, then I let it sort of rest. So I embellished it and I matted it or put it on top of a gray card base. And that finished our project off for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and got inspired to create uh, some cards and using some new techniques and maybe the artistry paper collection. Um, and all of the links to the products that I used in this video will be linked down below. Until next time, have a great day! Bye!